Hey folks, it's just my first try at designing my own ball valve that can seal, what would it be, 120 PSI of air pressure. Um, so far we're on our like, third iteration, so we're mo at the point of mostly stopping the air and I'm pretty darn happy with it. Um, the fitting side that actually plugs into the air is actually working pretty darn good for a 3D printed part. I messed around with the threads a lot to get um, to get it so it just threads in and I rely on the seal coming from the O-ring 99%. So I, I like to keep the 3D printed parts just to come apart super easy and then I'll dial in on the perfect uh, clearances for all the parts. And now to fix these two body parts together, I used uh, PLA, I mean not PLA, methylene chloride. So we get something like this when it's all glued together. This one is the very first Mark I that actually fit together. doesn't work very well, but it's, even, it's difficult to blow through. If this was closed, I definitely couldn't breathe through it. And it's, I was kind of relying on the um, methylene chloride to glue this together and as I did that I rotated this so that the handle didn't um, or sorry the ball inside didn't weld to the uh, casing plastic or PLA these are 3d printed parts obviously and uh, this also was a failure because the when I soaked the whole thing in the methylene chloride all the threads inside uh, just kind of dissolved and to muck and nothing was fitting so I'm just gonna keep my use of uh, methylene chloride to the see the surface I want to glue together and not touch the more accurately made components like this was done with a layer height setting of what was it one point no would have been yeah point one two millimeters per z step so and that that's also true for the uh, the ball here so it's pretty round but there's there's always going to be little imperfections from 3d printing Anyhow, uh, that's all I have for today. Uh, let me know if you liked the video. Bye-bye.